Hi, I'm Nikki Trevorrow and I work at Cats Protection. Today we're going to look at some behaviours um, of these lovely animals here, cats, and, um, and see why they're actually quite complicated and quite subtle in their behaviours, much more so than social species such as ourselves and dogs. So, let's have a look at the cats and see what you think is going on. When a cat comes towards you with their tail up, usually pointing at the top, it's a sign of their greeting in cats. This is a lovely behaviour to say that usually when they're greeting you when they're coming home or they're soliciting attention. Um, the best thing to do with these behaviours is to acknowledge their greeting and usually give them a bit of fuss, like a head rub for example. When cats are rubbing around ourselves or other objects in the environment, usually corners of things, um, they're often using like, parts of their body like their cheeks and up here and their sides. They're actually depositing scent. Whilst it looks like a really gorgeous behaviour where they're sort of smooching these areas, it is in fact scent marking. We often see these behaviours, um, particularly when we first arrive home for example, when they're rubbing around our legs. It is a greeting behaviour as well, but primarily because we smell a bit funny where we've been out and they're trying to make us smell more familiar. The slow blink is one of my favourite behaviours. This is where you slow blink at a cat, so really slowly up and closing your eyes, and then in perfect cat etiquette, just turning your head slowly to the side. This is showing the cat that you're nice and relaxed in their presence and that you're not threatening at all. And if you're really lucky, the cat will slow blink you back. When cats have got their ears flattened either to the side or back, this can be a sign of stress, that they're quite frightened. What's really important when, for cats that are feeling stressed and frightened is to give them a place to hide and the opportunity to get up high. You know when you return home and the cat throws itself on its side and shows you its belly? Often many people misinterpret this behaviour and think it wants its tummy rubs. Now unfortunately, those people that will have tried this behaviour will, um, will unfortunately get their uh, sort of grab round the hand and um, maybe the cat will bite them as well. That's because what this cat is really doing is showing a greeting behaviour and also that it feels relaxed in your presence. It trusts you. And um, it's almost an abuse of that trust to go and stroke their tummy. What the cat would rather you do is just to give them a slight head rub and that's it. Lip licking can occur for a variety of different reasons. For example, if they've just had something to eat, then you'll notice them doing a really big lick. However, it can also be a sign of nausea, and in this particular cat, it's a sign of stress. So when cats are stressed, it's really important to give them a place to hide and the opportunity to get up high. Purring is one of those behaviours that's familiar to all cat owners. It often shows a cat that's content, often soliciting attention, um, but sometimes it can actually be a sign that the cat is in pain. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these cat behaviours and found them interesting. Hopefully when you go home today, you'll look at your cat with a whole new light and hopefully it'll improve your relationship with them as well.